Hey, neighbors! Hey, Welcome to the Fence Bar. I'm Neighbor Sharif. You are? I'm Neighbor Sean. And we are coming to you live on Almost Tape uh, because we got multiple cameras today coming through to you from the Lower Hudson Valley. Tapes. In the beautiful Lower Hudson Valley in Westchester, New York. And we're still at our fence. The fence that separates us. The fence that was meant to keep us apart. It brought us together. Has brought us together and brought all these fine people together. And it continues to. That's the beautiful thing about Fence Bar. People ask me, you know, and I was just at the Burger Bash earlier today, Sharif, and you couldn't go there because you were on uh, Daddy uh, daddy Daycare. Oh, my God. But I ran into four different people. That was a pass from the Burger Bash. That's great. Thanks, Mike. Um, there was four different people that ran into uh, uh, ran into. One was your friend, and they were like, "Oh my God, I follow you on Fence Bar." And I was like, "Oh uh, really? You're kidding me? You're like why?" And they're like, "Cause it's awesome." And I was like, "You know what? Cause they want to be neighbors, man. They want then they wanted to be invited, yeah. and uh, and they should because here all it's about community. Um, I think Shauna uh, from the Green Growler said it the best. She goes, "It's the most like uh, laid back networking event that you'll <laughs> ever go to, because it's just like all the people you want to hang out with, and then it turns out that everybody's cool as fuck, and, and they're all in our backyard, <laughs> and they're currently all in our backyard. We want three percent at least, uh, just for any transactions happening in our backyard. Five percent. Five percent. Oh, four. Hey, yeah. sure. How much? Why here? Sure. Seven. <laughs> yeah. Well, but this sure. is one. Of, it, it is one of the coolest things for us because we're really lucky to have moved in next to each other. Oh man. And we're very lucky that this fence. Actually, I was talking about this with Dave earlier. Uh, I feel like it was just meant to be. Like this fence was. It started off like flat. It had like a, a little it bar top on it. It was just enough for us to put like a couple beers. It was just a fence. And we'd always just come out here and have a beer. And then two, two inches wide. Yeah. And uh, neighbor Mike came over and brought Not a bar neighbors. top, and he surprised us, and he actually put in the bar, and this became the gathering place that became the fence bar. And then from that, we started inviting people, and it turned into this a little bit of a. A, a Westchester cultural phenomenon, if I couldn't toot my own fez. Oh, uh, <laughs> which is another very nice fez, by Thank the way. Thank you. This is a birthday present from Mikey Tables uh, on from my the birthday. the streets of Brooklyn. So it's, it's called a fence bar fez. A fence fez. But here at the, at the fence bar, we really don't have many rules, but there's a couple things that you'll see that we always do. The first thing is that we'll always have a dad or a mom light in a pint glass. Uh, tonight, our dad light, I threw mine over the side. What do you have over um, there? Super <laughs> session number eight. Number eight. We've had um, a night shift uh, night light. We have night light as well. Night that, light's that's fantastic. That one, that, tonight, it will probably join in. Uh, it there it is, yeah. I've been drinking a lot yeah, of it looks like a night light. It like is a light bright. Light bright. Light bright. Light bright. Yeah. Light bright. Night night light. Light. Night light. Who knows the song? Night light. Night light. Let's what is get that? together and drink a beer. Yes! That's a totally right. the song. That's yeah. good. Come on, one gonna, more time. I'm going to put my these down light, because our, our guest tonight, light, Matt, is, a, is actually together and drink a beer. filming us. And he'll, he doesn't favorite. like when the cans oh, are too high. Right. Good, to yeah. good to see you. How was Burger Bash today, dear Mike? Uh, I had some good burgers. How many burgers what did you What was your have? favorite? Oh man, it was either Smokehouse or X2O, oh, yeah. Oh, X2O oh, always I, wins, I, I didn't think. really try yeah. all of them. I think he uses gold flakes and things like that. They're also size appropriate. Whereas, like, a couple of places I went to and I got a big old honkin' burger, which is fine. I mean, I'm a hungry man. Uh, I went to a burger fest. But then at the same time, like, I want to eat everybody's burgers. And I only got to eat seven because I got so blown. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew I was going to come back to Fence Bar and eat some braised beef and oh, more man. burgers from... Campbell Meats. Campbell Meats and Matt, Bob's Ferry. Matt from Campbell Meats dropped off the meat again on Thursday morning. Such His a solid streak guy. is going, I think, at fire. eight episodes. He's on yeah. fire. Eight episodes. We've had Campbell Meats. Oof. Different meat every, every Everything. Week. That's yeah. a good neighbor. Everything. We've, we've, got, uh, we've got really good neighbors, and uh, we do have a good neighbor tonight. Um, we've got someone really from the community and someone who's really involved in the beer shift, the craft beer shift in Ossining. Yeah. Um, and we've got... Matt, uh, who is a uh, local... He's, he's a he's a, a producer, a oh, director. Producer. Really? He's an actor. Oh, an actor. Uh, I think he's a coach, an acting coach. He which I think he's also called a, a teacher. Um, and he was nice enough to come over and lend us his lights. Because you'll notice... You'll out notice. Of all of the things that we filmed, all of our episodes, I doubt that we ever looked so dazzling. Yeah. Right? So full of color and flavor. I say flavor because look in front of us, people. This is where the flavor hides. Flavor! But the, but the lights. Flavor alert. They shine flavor! 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 
you get a flavor. You get a flavor. I got a flavor. He got a flavor. Uh, also, I want to say uh, we talked about the the dad light or mom light, which is the uh, the super sash from Lawson's finest. We also do a sidecar, uh, which you'll see us also referring to or pouring different beers into during the episode, and that is something that is going to be something shared. See these guys right here? These are mostly onesies. So this is when we went to a beer store. Uh, these are six dollars a piece. There's five dollars a piece. There's seven dollars a piece. This is a good night, man. This there's, is a great night. There's a there's a low neighbor crowd here today, so the rations go up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all the people home. off yeah. camera, yeah. it's gonna be a good night, show. Yeah. Yeah. Rations are up. Well, they'll be coming on camera and they'll be filling in some uh, some of these great beers. Cause uh, uh, so what what we did what, this, what are we, what we, we did this for neighbor Amy. Tonight is all about the yeah. New England style hazy, crazy, lazy crazy, crazy, IPA lazy. because she loves, juicy, she loves it. She loves it. juicy. IPA. She doesn't love it. I can't yeah. wait. I'm all about it. She's and, a juicy kid tour kind of. And what girl. did I say, Sharif? I said no. <laughs> I said I said no, Amy. It's June. This is not the time for double IPAs that are hazy. But she loves it. And, I and love them. Everybody else said, my favorite. Thank you, Sean. We don't want to talk about beer to guards uh, right now. Or, box. Box. or my, box. My, box my box. Or box. Or any type of uh, delicious lagers that the rest of the world is uh, enjoying during this time where temperatures fluctuate. We're drinking juicy IPA. <laughs> Today we're talking about juicy IPA. Let's summer. bring neighbor Matt on already. Come on, neighbor Matt. I think so. Uh, neighbor Matt. I'm Please coming. Come I'm coming. Up. Wait a minute. I, I need my beer. Hey, Bring your beer. For you need good a glass? Luck. Can you yeah, so Sean, Sean, Sean brought a good uh, one. I think we're, we're going to let you. Oh, you brought a. Sean brought a single. Oh, that's what Sean brought. That's Wham! That's All right, that's go. That's All right. Here we go. Thank you very much. All right. So, Matt, this is the great thing about neighbors is that, uh, and neighbors that know beer, and neighbors that love beer, and that come uh, appropriately. Oh, we've got to share. we got to share. Oh, that's why it's called I a side. I don't know the rules. Yeah, right. I, I'm ready to there learn. There are no rules. I'm here to learn. But sidecars are meant to share. Shut up. A little bit left for you. Oh, that's nice. What about Mikey? Oh, Mikey? Oh, he's too late. No, who, who needs some? No, you do. That's, that's for you. I left a little bit there for you. Thanks, Shana. Wait, uh, all right. Sorry, Mike. Wait, pour me a little bit, a little taste. Go. Can I get a little taste? A little taste. Just <laughs> loving a bit. There we go. All right, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of that hazy, crazy, <laughs> lazy little cut. Matt, so thank you so My much for coming out to Fence Bar. We met you at the opening of Sing Sing Kill Brewery last uh, weekend. Kid. We had a... Two weeks two ago. Two weekends ago. Two weekends yeah. ago. Right after the last fence bar. It was. And and it was really a good time. The space down there is amazing. Oh. It's right in downtown Austin. Right. They've got both space. ends of the building. So you walk in this beautiful front of the building. You've got the tap room to the side and you get the brewery to the left. And the building has a lot of history. You know, it was like a 150 year old building. It was uh, I didn't know this. a school for young people and, you know. What about school for old people? Was that I don't know. I think it was like people? a boys' school back in the 1800s or something like that. And then it became uh, maybe a button factory or clothing factory or something. And Some sort so of textile really cool. or so, uh, accessory. So when we stripped down the space and we found lots of really cool raw, you know, old-fashioned kind of uh, construction elements. So that's the, uh, the vibe in the So building. that's where I'm seeing that, that feeling in it. Yes. Are you feeling that vibe? Well, I was feeling that. You I was, was feeling, feeling that vibe. Yeah, that was a really fantastic yeah, opening. Yeah, we yes. had a great time. What a Packed. great attendance by the community of Ossining. And by Fence Bar. And by Fence Bar. We were there. Course, well, yes. we are a community of Ossining. Yes. Yeah. You know and if I mean? you didn't get a sticker, then... Uh, I, mean, I think I got four. <laughs> <laughs> we got more. <laughs> No, but it really was. You really felt like there was a community vibe in it. There were so many people who were um, different age ranges. That, like yes, uh, you could tell that this was a, this process of getting this brewery. Because I know that there's another it brewery took a in, in Austin, and God bless them. Right. But this one is like full blown all the way. You know, like we're not we're not messing around. Three barrel fermenters. You know, they're yeah. going to turn out some serious beers. But they're a New York farm brewery. And that's a whole different concept that, you know, that one of those series. So uh, I think um, Governor Cuomo is kind of integral to starting the concept of a New York farm brewery where they had to have, like, when they started, 70% of New York um, grown grains and stuff in their um, beers. And then as the years the progress, they had to get a higher, higher and higher percentage. But, but the, the benefit of that from the brewery is they yeah. get tax abatements. Correct. Um, and they also get the benefit of being able to open up satellite locations. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how single cut 
plays in the ah, because right. well, as a farm brewery, um, you are able to open up a total of five. Uh, satellite breweries. Well, we'll just have to see. How we'll that just goes. have that's, to that's see. Brand, yeah. They that's just opened up two brand weeks brand ago. That's brand that's brand new. Brand no, new. Sorry. But, but um, you know, um, that there was a farm brewery in Queens, uh, Big Alice. I love Big Alice. And they were very supportive of the brewery as it was starting to get, you know, on yeah. our feet and stuff like Kyle that. So right, so right yeah. now, the lineup of the brews at Sing Sing Hill Brewery is about four or five from the brewery. And filled in, I think this week there's three big Alice well, brews. And they're worth the opening too. Well, so that's yes. the great thing about the beer beer community. Correct. Or, or in fact, communities in general. Or like neighbors. 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 We're all neighbors. <laughs> we all. Yeah, yeah, so hey, let's, let's, let's drink uh, the yeah. Hey, let's talk about. Uh, this you is a drink, West though. You can't toast down. Oh, oh, no, drink. drink. Come on. You two people out there. Drink. Toast. Toast. Yeah. Um, so, neighbor Matt, um, we this is a Westchester show, and we want to get your impression of Westchester. And for people who aren't from Westchester, how would you describe Westchester, or even your community, the Austin community? What's it like? Um, it's a wonderful mix of a combination of geography. You know, uh, where I live on the eastern border of the town, it kind of is near the Taconic. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of bike riding guys who come by, you know, and yep. ladies in their bike. Are gear. they following the, uh, the 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 aqueduct, or they're are they following the bike trail? Scent of beer, I think. And <laughs> hey, we got a bike rider yeah. here. Yeah. We got a bike rider yeah. here. Where's Neighbor Bobby. Where are they? Where's your bike, Mike? I haven't seen you Woo! bike ride. I've never does seen Mike, Mike bike ride. Does Mike have a bike? Never seen, never seen him. Never seen his bike. Mike has a bike. Maybe does Mike, so Mike have a bike? Mike's got a couple of bikes. Uh, so I've never Mike's seen Mike ride a bike in my life. How much dust are on those bikes? Yeah. So not hike? too much. Bobby came the over and cleaned them up. Yeah, so Bobby came over and cleaned them up. The beautiful thing about where I live in Austin is that, you know, we've had the bike riders kind of go go sweeping past our house on the on this road and go, Oh my God! I've never seen this part of Austin before. I feel like I'm in Vermont. Mm. So it's got a little bit of everything. It's woodsy. We're woodsy it, we're, up here. We got some. Uh, we got some got trees and some yeah, bars yeah. and fences, but and some, fences and some good bars. neighbors. Yeah, that's the key. I think that's what I found of just living here for the last, I think it's my coming into my fourth year. Right is the neighbors, right? And that's why we're doing what we're doing at Fence right. Bar because we find people that are, are naturally, that are from here, um, like our neighbor, uh, Reba, who's from North Cherrytown. That's how long ago she was here because it's called <laughs> Sleepy Hollow people to uh, us, <laughs> us, us people that moved from Ohio to Brooklyn to here. Old school. Yeah. Uh, but then, uh, where did you, uh, did you grow up in I grew, No, I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area. Okay. And actually north of San Francisco, over the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, that sounds so much nicer than around here. No. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Tell me. We're in county. Tell it's me. very beautiful. And when I tell people from California where I grew up, I say I live in an area that's very similar to Marin County. It's kind of it's beautiful. You call it. It's beautiful. Here. It's beautiful. There's it there's you know a, a great bunch of communities. There's like it's beautiful environmentally really beautiful. Matt, tell us what you're doing in the community with the youth and uh, build. Youth. So the actually, youth. so the youth. Um, I'm sick by the way. So I've been um, doing so television and video them. production for about 30 years. Uh, 30 uh, years for about 30 but years. But you look like you're 30 years old. Well, that I started when I was about two. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> that makes sense. So um, makes sense. the uh, about a year ago, I went on a tour of this great new theater complex down by the Austin Riverside. It's called Westchester Collaborative Theater, and um, I said. If you need video to the, you know, executive producer, I'd be happy to help produce some video for, you know, to produce the You're theater. You're a good neighbor. Good neighbor. Good neighbor. Good neighbor. I am a good neighbor. I love the idea of growing downtown Austin and making it a happening scene. And so uh, he said, well, would you be interested in teaching a class? So I said, hey. Uh, turns I'm out. I'm in. I'm in. So, I'm, <laughs> so for about a year, I've been teaching an acting for camera class. Okay. Can I take it? Because obviously people, I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Am I right, we people? Can, we could help. Oh, hey, we help. Oh, we can help you. Yeah, we can help. Yeah. So, but um, a after the first semester, I had a casting director come in and talk to the students about, you know, opportunities in television and film. And he said, hey, you guys should think about doing a web series. You know, you know people who have a camera. <laughs> Amy, Amy. Hey. Yeah. You know, Are you guys you, shooting a web series in Austin? And so we're shooting a web series. Is it the What's it called? It's called 
O Town. O Town. The web series. O Town. The web series. It's amazing. And where can people find O Town? The web Well, it's at, at this moment. It's on my computer at home. <laughs> so it's unreleased. So they they have to come to my house. Yeah. Hey, right. can we uh, can we have the release on Fence Bar? Can we do the Fence Bar release? Oh, the premiere. We'll, we'll do it here. We'll, we'll play it on the Fence Bar. Well, or, or just like one way or the other, we'll just do it. Well, we'll figure out a way. Yeah. So let's get into our uh, three questions for all our guests. Oh my God, three questions. Yeah. So um, you Very haven't been prepped already. on this, and you don't have Instagram, so you. Uh, I do have. I'm on Instagram. Are you? Mad at Boondog. Mad at Boondog. At Boondog, Boondog video. Um, question number one. Yes. Yeah, so Sean. It, so you. <laughs> question number one. I was so eager to get here, and people, I'm like trying to remember. I got question number one. What is in your refrigerator right now? <laughs> Not what you want to impress the fence bar folks with, but literally, you're going home after fence bar. You're going to open up your refrigerator. You're going to go in and put your hand out, and what are you going to grab? Oh my God. Yeah. What's in there? There's Your God. Of, there's a lot of condiments. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody <laughs> got a lot of condiments. <laughs> Mustard. Uh, no. Ketchup. Okay. Uh, Sean, you always forget about like what beer uh. you have in your fridge. Oh, did fridge. I say that? Oh, oh, we oh, go oh, in with oh, what's in oh, your fridge. So, so, like, I just assume they're, they're like my <laughs> fridge. Oh, oh, I so much beer. Like only thing I have in my fridge. Yeah. A lot of milk. Oh, what that? Good point. What beer do you have in your fridge? I have a better answer now that we reframed it in the question of beer. I have a second refrigerator. Mm. That's what I'm talking it's about. It's downstairs. It's called yes. the Ox. And in that refrigerator, mm-hmm. there are so many beers. What do we so got? many. What so are we reaching in I there have, I have some Sip of Sunshine. Oh, really? Sip of I Sunshine. Some, I have some Wrench. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I have some... Why haven't you been drinking those beers? Why well, you've got them already. I made, I, yes. I made a run up to Vermont in the spring and visited Burlington, and I went to the Alchemist. Oh, yes! yes. Oh, I went for a And I went, him for and I went to Hill Farmstead. Almost to Canada. I asked Sean up at the We crusher. went to Hill Farmstead, almost to Canada, yeah. right? So I have some of those kind of lurking there just in case. But you shouldn't let, let them lurk too long. Those That's true. Should be consumed lurk immediately. Lurk I'm the so Pittsburgh. embarrassed. And, okay, so my sister-in-law lives in Portland, Maine. So I don't know if you've had Maine beer. Uh, lunch is my favorite. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hello, 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 hello. So no, luckily, you know, Karen supplies us every cup you know, comes down Thanksgiving with boxes of uh, main Karen. beers or Karen. Well, Karen. 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 Karen is she's a well, video person. Karen she's a director and a videographer too. So, well, so maybe she can come here to Vince Bar and bring and, some lunch. And be, Matt, or question maybe. number two. Okay, <laughs> moving on. So you're having a party, right? Always, and, and, and always having a party. Which is what we <laughs> like about you. <laughs> you have to curate it yes. for the masses. And think of it as a. Uh, a mini fence bar in your life. What's oh, your strategy? If yeah. How do you if get only. the beer? What, what are you doing? What do you get? How do you? What do, what do you? Where do I up? shop? Nope. What do you bring into the party? Not where you. I don't care where you get it. But what What's are you your serving? strategy? Is What's the good, strategy? Like, what, for well, how many beer of A beers and B beers and C beers are you going to have? And well, you, you know, um, I go by the concept of. You start with a lighter beer with low alcohol, yeah. sessionable You want kind people of to dad continue light. to party. Dad light, a little dad Mom light, light. Yeah. mom yeah. light at yeah. the beginning. And, and and then as the evening Somewhere. progresses, no, you get a little, a little more sophisticated. Right. Dad yeah. light. Oh, sorry, sorry. A little more sophisticated. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. And, so what so what you get and, you're, and you're pairing it with foods. That go well your party with your beer. Delicious. Everybody's party so, delicious. So, and then... Lest we forget oh. what happens after dinner. What? What? Ooh. What? We must have stouts and porters. Boom! And, and things that are the more complex, this guy. you know, for after uh, the meal. That, I don't know what you're talking with, about. But I like I it. I only made a candle out of it. Okay. So, <laughs> you know, Looking because, crafted. Because as you are finishing up, you're ready, especially in winter, or, you know, that, that Every porter season has its own and that choice. stout. Don't be afraid of the dark in the summer, man. Don't be afraid of the dark people. Hey. <laughs> it's the color. We're, for every We're coming to your party for Dave. sure. Dave's the best. So, question number three. Three. Mm. What is your most uh, definitive memory with beer? What kind of Ooh. memories do you have with beer, good or bad or anything? What kind of stands out in your mind? What happens like? when you go back into that brain, when you think about them beers that you had, and you're like, oh my god, I remember that night. You're an actor, right? Or that day. It was amazing. Oh. And I drank beer. So... I'm going to San Francisco State. Okay. I'm going to get my degree in television. What film. year? Don't say it. Yeah. Come on. Never ask a ago. guy his age. It's a long time ago. Right, ladies? So, and it was a very... Uh, so, Guinness 
was a founding memory at that time. We played darts and stuff like that. I had just turned like 21, mm -hmm. and so it was a dart thing, and we'd go to Irish pubs, and mm -hmm. maybe a Scottish pub. Did somebody just fall in the fire? Fine. <laughs> no, we're good. No. All good. Oh, Thank God, no. God. God. Thank God, did any beer get spilled? But, did the beef okay. shake? Okay. So, so yeah, how's the beef shake? <laughs> Start your thought again. Picture this: We're yeah. in San Francisco. We're, we're at a beer. Uh, 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 dreams. We're we're at a um a, new a bar called the Edinburgh Castle. So Scottish Edinburgh. Skull Ed but they have Irish. Well, they because have, it's in a San have, Francisco. They have Guinness. <laughs> yeah, they're confused. But you know, so we're playing darts and we're drinking Guinness. And I'm twenty one. Cricket five hundred one three hundred one years old. Twenty two years old. And that's the and the there's a bagpiper walking down the aisle and playing his bagpipes. Mm. And the waiters are going, would you like to order some fish and chips? <laughs> and they go and they go and get your fish and chips and they bring them back and you sit and eat, drink your Guinness and uh, eat the, your fish and chips. Was it was like beer and, and food and, and darts uh, and uh, a bagpipe. And, all at 21. At 21. In college. Yeah. Living yeah, so, the life. And back that, then, that was, back then to have to there go. Was, there all, wasn't craft beer things happening yet. So Guinness was kind of a, it, you know what the, the kind of bellwether of that's that's what one flavored beer. And it's still I'll tell you I still love a good Guinness and I have my own Guinness glass that uh, go. I got uh, etched in with Sean. So that, a youthful memory I think that would be my youthful memory. That's a really good and, memory. And th now what I do for beer is I travel the country and find like beer centric places to visit. Asheville, North Carolina. How is that? Beer centric. Yeah, Asheville. Asheville. Really, yeah, we Asheville. should go. All kinds of craft, yeah. craft yeah. beers. Burlington, Vermont, Maine. So you know, it's like yeah. I go places and say, Brooklyn. Hey, Queen. And I actually have made Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. York. Queen. That's what I was just saying. Sing, sing, New York, Sharif. Westchester. Yeah, there you go. Well, you go. <gasps> so beer Valley. tours. Beer tours. tours. Cheers. Cheers. Well, it's very nice tours. to have you on. Dude. Can you please look in the camera and tell everybody what you want to tell them? Tell, tell, tell them, them about tell you. Them. Well, tell how can them, they find tell you? Tell them what's up. T I want to hear you about know, the, the... Come uh, to Sing Sing Kill Brewery. Mm. Go to the Green Growler. Come to... Fence, uh, Fence, Fence Bar. Bar and uh, what's the name of your show? The, it's the... No, it's good. O-Town. O-Town. Watch O-Town when it comes out. I can't we, wait. We've sh we shoot at two different breweries. Can I be in O-Town? Can I be like a, yeah, seat, a guest? Can, can be I'll let you be an extra. As long as you got a really good like a food Here's part. here's to Fence Bar. Here's hey. to Fence Bar. Here's yeah, to Austin. Here's Thank to Austin. Thank you. Come, Austin. Austin. Thank you, Come up and drink beer in Austin. Here's yeah. to community and Croton. Freaking neighbors. Woo. Cheers. <laughs> so Sharif, Mikey, what time is it? Beer, beer brains. Beer brains. Beer, beer brains. Beer brains. Beer brains. So beer we brains. we are doing tonight's beer brains uh, for Amy. Steinthal, the woman that you can hear go, woohoo! Oh, she's drinking right Yay. now. But <laughs> Yay! She loves these hazy, uh, juicy, uh, low bitterness, high aromatic, unstable. Oh, yeah. Look at her. Beers. She unstable. loves it. I don't want to be able to see through my unstable. beer. Unstable. Which, which is fine. Unstable. <laughs> but like your wife she is, is unstable. Is, she know. is or the she beer is. is. The, the thing is, is that <laughs> the, the style of the beer is now called a New England style IPA. Um, that's what sort of the the broad term. It's also understood as being other things. In um, sorry, there, Sheree. Uh, talk to me. I just realized I was looking at the trees. I'm, I, I wanted to talk to you. I didn't see you. those beautiful pupils. <laughs> it's so good looking. Uh, so, New England IPAs were not always New England IPAs. They used or to be called Vermont IPAs. It all started with a brewery called the Alchemist, out of Burlington. Um, and from 2000, they started making these in the mid-90s, this, this particular style uh, that style. didn't use the traditional IPA yeast, did not follow the IPA trend of bitterness. Um, they, were, they were all about this, like, uncomfortable look to the beer where it was the yeast that they were using. Uh, it was really the yeast, as we all, we all know as we talked about in previous beer brains. So why was their yeast different than like everybody else's yeast? So there's a yeast strain called Chico yeast, which Chico. is Chico. The Chico? Like the Chico? No. 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 Chico. <laughs> like, like, like Sierra Nevada's and Chico, California. No. Um, that's not why we call it that. But that's a style of yeast strain that's best known to be able to ferment out 
um, giving you the uh, the, al the alcohol flavor that you want that you're able to like dose a lot of hops onto that allow a lot of bitterness. So previous to uh, New England style IPAs, or as I'm saying now, Vermont IPAs, West Coast IPAs reign supreme. And the way that all IPAs were kind of judged were on what uh, IBUs, or International Bitterness Units. Yep. And you get beers like Palette Wrecker. And is that like what you feel in the back of your throat when you take a sip of beer? It's like a little of bitterness. It. Oh, it's, it's actually more after you finish. Like that, the bitterness cascades. Do we have any? Do we have no. any beers over here that we can? Uh... Oh, to drink, yes. Yeah. We actually are going to do a Captain's Daughter, uh, which is a Rhode Island brewery, but they are an early adopter of the style. Um, sidecars. And, uh, they are all sidecars uh, for, for right now. <laughs> and I will tell you. So this is a. This, this, well, it's a terrible pour. Oh, sorry, of my I was part. looking over there. But if you look at it, so so a hazy IPA. This is what you're not going to be able to see right through. It. Oh, so sorry, 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 sorry. Tell it, tell it, tell it, tell it. Thank you. Sorry, there's something in my throat. Yeah. So you're you're, you're going to be able to see that there's you can't see through it. So previous to a Vermont IPA, you would expect to be able to see. Well, that's also a session IPA that's hazy. I don't have an example of one, but you're, you're, the, the filter process or the filtration process was part of uh, what made you a badass brewery. That you could have a high IBU beer, uh, international bitter units, anything over 40 IBUs can be classified as an IPA. They go up to over a hundred IBUs. Is that one of the classifications for an IPA? Because we yes. haven't had an IPA beer brains yet, so I don't I don't even know what an IPA it is. is. Okay. No, it is. It, so it, IPA is over forty IBUs. Correct. Okay. Uh, and, and, and even the Vermont IPA, as I'm still saying, uh, or the New England IPA, or the Hazy IPA, all even though that they're they're dealing more with juicy factors of the hops. Juicy. I don't understand what the juicy means. Well, uh, let me talk about that in a second. Okay. All right, because I still think that the, the important factor here is that the creation of the style was based upon the uh, uh, the not unability to get it. The fact that the you unability to get it. it. It's like when beer uh, beer advocate and rate beer and social media were all coming into the forefront of the beer world. The the thing that was cool was that there's this brewery in Burlington. Um, that is called the Alchemist. They only sell draft. Up in, from 2003 until, I think, 2009, they only served draft of so it. So you can only get it. You can only the, get it there. From the, from the teeth. No growlers. From the teeth. You had to drink it there. You literally had to drink it there from and then, the teeth. And then they, they, they changed that. They started canning it. Uh, but they only served it at the brewery. And then Sean Hill, um, who is, uh, was a regular at the Alchemist, uh, decided to open up his own brewery, and instead of going with the typical Chico yeast, he went with the same yeast strain that the Alchemist was using. He, so there was two breweries now using the same yeast strain that uh, that allowed you to create these unfiltered IPAs that, like, the esters became really juicy. Like, all of the things that you were able to create within the beer were something that you never experienced before. And the it's way all about the yeast? And, and also they didn't filter it. So the way that you were able to get all of that was you were allowed to let the yeast and some of the hop particulates from the dry hopping just kind of hang out in there. Hang out, and man. That's, and that's why it says drink it out of the can, because they didn't want people to pour it in a glass because and if you see did, that it was going to have particles in it. But back in the day, man, shit was chunky. People didn't want to see that. It was chunky, though. No, I mean, now it's even changed. Even if you pour a heady topper into a glass now, it's not the same thing that you would have done in 2009. But they didn't want it. people to pour it into a glass because they felt like it was going to be, like, not accepted. The definition of the style was bitterness and clarity. Okay? They defied all of that with uh, what they were doing with the hop varietals. The other thing I want to talk about briefly is that the hop varietals that the New England IPA started to use were these new things, citra hops were first introduced using the Alchemist. Now every fucking brewery is using Citra because it's a great hop. The, one of the first IPAs that uh, Hill, Sean Hill from Hill Farmstead, which would be the second brewery that I would say as far as New England or Vermont style IPAs that are a frickin' uh, the, the style of uh, progenitors. Um, Citra. The pioneers. Citra, Galaxy, and then the 2012 Mosaic. 
those three hop strains had not been used commercially, and they were using them all right away. And uh, and they were only they were also only serving them within ten miles of their own property. So it was like you go to rate beer. How do I get this beer? Everybody's talking about this beer. Uh, Matt from Austin would drive up to Burlington yeah, yeah, to no, wait in line we... so he could drink it from the teat. You know what I mean? I did. I did. He I did. Take that that home till 2011. You know, <laughs> but before that he was still doing it because it was such a recognized phenomenon. That it was amazing, and then once you could get it, um, it, it just sort of turned into this thing. So flash forward, flash, 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 flash forward <laughs> to like 2000 and like 15. Gross. That is when uh, you really start Gross. to see uh, the the same style of New England IPAs being called New England IPAs being commercially accessible. You got a, a treehouse. Um, sure. And you've got uh, I don't fuck. Who cares, Shauna? But I want you to come on here. Here I come. And I want to, I want you to tell me because I'm not a beer guy, so I don't know if like everything mm-hmm. Sean's saying here is like pure rubbish or if it Probably actually rubbish. makes a lot of sense. I, mean, I wouldn't give myself that much credit. <laughs> no, I, I think actually I give actually I give Sean a lot of credit, and it should be known that Sean very early on was like a very important teacher to me because I opened a business and I didn't know dick about what was going on and it was Sean and Pat Von Diller and a couple of other oh yeah who came in and educated me and I've been privy to this world through this time and actually I love your review of the hazy IPA style I think Hazy IPA is what they're calling it on the West Coast because they don't want to give us credit. But only since 2016. And on the what? East Coast, we've been calling it, it East there's Coast an IPA East Coast, because beef? no, no. And then there's the East Coast Vermont beef. Oh my God. Because yeah. the fact is, it really did originate in Vermont. So we beefing right now? No. Is it gonna be no can you give me, give me a second no. to talk. People. East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, no. West Coast, no. Vermont, no. New Shut York. Shut the fuck up. Everybody. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, people. I have no beers, no deadlights, no right. sidecars. Okay. Let, let me tell you what I want to say because you've, you've stopped me from being able to say the most important thing. Yeah. And the most important thing about New England IPAs is the new style that has been adopted now unilaterally by the brewing community. Definitely. It, 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 it took risks from the mid-90s up until the early 2010s, and now... Of not winning awards, because it's Now it's a style. BJCP style as of 2016. Now it's judged. Now every 32 states have their own different, uh, like, like, judging based upon the style. New England style. It is. It is all about the, the New England haze. style. It's Nothing like an unfiltered beer. Okay, it's a beer. lot about the haze. But that's not what it's originally about. <laughs> I love it wasn't the haze. It was about filteredness. It was a part haze? of the it's process using the yeast strain right. that then people started uh, adopting in their own ways. Can I ask a quick question? Yeah. So there's a lot of controversy in the beer world about what makes the haze. And there was some big freaking story about how... Stoners. Yeah. Oh, no, flowers. <laughs> 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 Not the stoners. All right, so... Smell it, Colorado. Wrong kind of flowers. All right, it's all stoners. But that aside, the dudes, one dude particularly from Tired Hands, kind of gave an interview and said, oh, how we do the haze is we add flour. And everybody was like, what? Aghast. Yeah, and, and they should have been. <laughs> uh, so did uh, Treehouse. And the question is, and uh, this is my question, are there multiple uh, Ways methods of waking the haze? to creating the haze? Oh, my God, yes. What other, me- so what, what other methods, methods would be... What what are we talking about? Are we talking about cutting beer, basically? <laughs> <laughs> like no, putting no, haze, no, putting no. haze into beer. So what other methods? You said flour. No. Let's talk about this. So that's the extreme. That just is like the just extreme. like anything else. What like, else is there? I'm about to tell you. So thanks for asking me three times. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell me already. <laughs> well, let me fucking talk, and I will. <laughs> uh, 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 the, the the thing is, is that. The unfiltered process of dry, when you're dry hopping uh, the beer, right? Which gives it so much aroma. That's why you're you're doing it for the aromatics and uh, not for the bitterness. So New England IPAs have a lot of secondary additions of hops, of aromatic hops, of high alpha hops, 
um, they don't filter it, and that's where you're going to get a lot of the haze, just simply because there's a lot of particulates. Yeah. Also, the yeast strain they're using is one that is not going to be, it's not, it's not supposed to uh, age and then fall to the bottom and dump out. It stays. It stays inside the, uh, in the fermentation it's vessel. There. So when, even when you take it to a bright tank to finish the beer, it's still alive, baby. It's still moving around. Mm. And then, and then, then yeah. also you might add an, another addition of hops. Uh, and that's where you're going to get a lot of the, uh, the unclarity. Although what we're looking at now, these are all there's no there's no hops being put in, in on the bright side. No, this I is, this is all been transferred. Boxes. I don't have a sidecar. Oh. I just got the the uh, light, light. 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 Well, this is the clear one. No, that's all. Yeah. Here, no. oh, we finally <laughs> have a Vermont no, 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 no. beer. Finally. And we're gonna do it. Finally. And I'm sorry that I yelled at you, Sharif. Oh, that's all right, John. I, I would like to take that back. It's a, you know, and here at Fence Bar, sometimes we get heated, especially when it comes to New England IPAs, because Sean some people like them. It's so exciting. <laughs> and when you don't let me talk, I get mad. So, are we gonna talk about uh, beer report and what's going on in the uh, community? Well, I know beer there's report. Uh, beer report. Beer report. Beer report. Beer report. Okay. Beer report. Do you know what's going on? Beer report. Beer report. We got some new beers. There's going to be some new beers in the Green Growler. There's always new beers uh, in the Green Growler. Yeah. More than Check out the case like, by the register in the front. Who else wants some of this? They may have a question. Seriously, the there's a lot beer. of things yeah. going on. Yeah. There's, a, there's a lot of really great things going on around Thank town. You, we Sean. have to start That's off it. with... Um, uh, Jeff Bader, who was here last uh, show, he's having you, his gun buyback program. It's the first gun buyback program in Peekskill. This is fantastic. It's called Peace Peace awesome. It's called Thing Thing. Peace Skill. Peace, peace Skill. Like a skill. piece like a gun, but also no, peace like peace. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Oh, so it's go. peace, peace, okay. everything. Amy, all you have to do this is, is this for you. Saturday. I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, this is for I'm coming for you. Tomorrow, you <laughs> have to go, which is going to be tomorrow, tomorrow when, 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 this, when this gets out there. It was three days ago. Oh, you're oh, awesome. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's, um, that's, cool. um, so that's delicious. It's, the, it's, it's Peak Seal's first buyback program. It is um, buying back guns oh, from that. the Peak Seal community. Fantastic. From the proceeds that are created from people going to Peak Skill or, Peak, or to the River Outpost on Saturday, buying the beer Peak Skill, all of that money is going to be given to the Peak Skill Police Department so that they can purchase back guns from the public, no questions asked, surrendering in those guns, and then all of that thing, the guns that are going to be collected will be then turned over to Jeff and he's going to create a sculpture out of it that will then be placed at the River Outpost. Neighbor so Sharif, cool. don't forget your How gun. Great is that? Don't forget to bring your gun. I don't have a gun. Uh, if you do, bring if it you Saturday. Do, uh, you, say, you'll get good money for it, and it'll be turned into an awesome statue. As yeah. a member of Moms Out Front, I'm so excited about this program. I'm so glad River Outpost Brewing is doing this, and I really congratulate so them. Cheers to you. Yeah, cheers, cheers. to you guys. Yes. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, now, yeah. please, everybody get out there, and please, We're going to be there. Please, Drink some beers, donate your money right, to the buy, gun we'll buyback there. program. Saturday, it's going to I'm be there. Good call. And there. there's going to be an we'll amazing sculpture that comes out in Afterwards. the end. Yes. 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 Jeff Vader, I'm with you. Which will, which will only be, 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 be created by the money that you spend drinking beer on <laughs> Saturday. Peace. Why wouldn't you? Peace. 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 Is the sculpture going to be a big What's going on at Green Growler this weekend? All right, this weekend at Green Growler, we've got music, as we always do on Saturday night. Who's playing? All right, we've got the 145 band. 145. One, four, I heard the Foo Fighters were going to be there. Foo Fighters might not be. They might be, be there. They, they might, might be there. there. They you still know. might be there. I'm, I'm might still in contact there. with them. I'm in communication. Like, they keep haven't, it going. Keep it going. They keep haven't actually said yeah. they're not coming yet. All right, I am, I'm actually in contact with, like, people who are friends with friends with friends. Of Jeff Tweedy, who's coming oh. out for the Clearwater event, yeah, playing with the Mavericks, not this weekend, but the following weekend. So we're pretty excited about that. We've got Ani DeFranco coming out. Ani's coming to play. Ani's coming. When? Los Lobos. Whoa, Los Lobos. Wait, Wait. no. Wait. 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 I will not. It's still. Our I refuse to. Ani DeFranco. Oh, I'm gonna wake up his kids. Don't. Wait, Do kids. not wake up the kids. I'm going to do that for you. But Jeff Tweedy is coming, so we're pretty well, we excited about that. He's not coming to my place, but still, he can still come to my place. Jeff Tweedy. Right. Jeff Tweedy, well you want to go to your show? Right. 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 Right.
Uh, <laughs> no, all right. So we've got like we've got a hundred zillion things. We've got at the end of the month, we've got another Jeff. We've got Jeff O'Neill coming out and doing a really crazy special Chief event. Chief O'Neill. The Chief. The Chief. Talking to us about how the IPA style has changed over the so last So whatever I've years. said, he's going to completely tell you correctly. Oh like oh I'm, I'm passionate. God. Chief is like the the well, guy. He's the Chief. He made the East Coast IPA. I heard he, he was coming to find the. He took 10. the West Coast and the East Coast no. and made uh, flower power. One of the most important people in IPAs in the whole history, isn't that crazy? The whole history of beer. Yep. One of the most people, mo most important people in the history of beer. So we've got him coming out on the 29th. He's going to be here like Wait. at the Green Growler. Wait Hold a minute. On. Yes. There's a wrench here. Oh. Yes. Uh, okay. And, and the wrench is, as far as the, uh, well, the, he My calls it uh, the, the new, I'll take a well, the new E he calls IPA. The, the W, the W, no, it's an like any IPA, but I don't think it's New England. He it's calls Northeast. It an, I think he calls it a North, Northeast. I think you're that? right. It's a Northeast <laughs> IPA. Oh, yeah. 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 There's a lot of oh, connection. Oh, look at that yeah. color. Bring that close. That's the same. We need, Dude, we need a lot more wrenches. This is ridiculous. We're going to need some more wrenches there. This is so there. improper. Hey. I'm hey. just saying. Yeah, you're killing Wait me. Wait a minute. Dude. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> there's more wrenches. So there's another thing that's going to be happening at Green Growler, oh. and that's something that Sean and, and I have been talking about. Oh, tell me, tell my me, God. Tell me. So, so this is a fucking cool thing. So you, the, the, the beer brains that we talk about are often too short. Wouldn't you agree? Not enough. Not enough. Enough. I don't get enough of your brains. I know. I need more beer brains. So, <laughs> every other Tuesday, I will be at Green Growler, and I will be talking about whatever the beer brain segment it's is. It's your beer brains. It's, well, not quite the whole, you know. <laughs> no, not that kind of no, beer brains? No, no, no. Uh, but it the also will be talking brains, about uh, a lot <laughs> of the breweries that you know, but you don't realize are still making the beers that you want. Some of these legacy breweries like Sierra Nevada, Dogfish Head, Victory. I mean, the list goes on and on. Kelso. Kelso. Like, like people are forgetting about where we came from and how we came from. Who's and America? Why, and why you invest in those beers. We have some of the greatest inventors and, and innovators in beer who are going to be featured in Beer Brains. And we're going to bring them over and we're going to bring the Green Growler. So, are we trying to bring back the guys who, like, are the real kind of foundations of craft beer? We are letting right? people know yeah. that you don't need to I wait in line that. awesome. in Brooklyn no. to yes. have a delicious no. beer style. You could That's have a Kelso. You could have a Sierra Nevada. You could, Nevada, though, also. You could really do whatever But, you want. wait, there's more every oh, wait, other week. More. We are going to be doing a <laughs> trivia program that I'm going to be hosting at the Green Warrior. <laughs> so, you'll be able to hang out with me. Um, which is okay. Which is wicked awesome. <laughs> um, and Shauna, and Evan. Is there a capacity so, limit? There's so no capacity. What's the oh, capacity? No, is it trivia the about capacity? beer? The trivia is going to be yeah, somewhat it? about the beer brain no. <laughs> that I did no, previously. No. Uh, some of it is going to be about uh, pop culture. So um, should people study it the previous if episodes? If they watch Fence Bar, they're going to have a leg up. Oh, the week before to my beer brain segment at the Green Growler. You should do a tease. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They will yes. have a head up. Have a leg up. Yes. Oh, because you're yeah. going to learn yeah, stuff. have a leg up. Oh, yeah. What I think yeah. is so cool about this program, which I'm really excited about, and why I was so happy to talk to you about this. It's fun. It's going to be fun, no, mer no matter what, which is, you know, wild man Sean McCain. Sorry. That's the way it is. <laughs> 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 but no, I mean, the wonderful thing Watch about this fez. program is that Sean's been in it for years, and he's got a lot Ordering of knowledge to share, and it's going to be a really, really cool event where you're going to learn a lot about the history of what you love. And we all get to hang out, man. And, and we, we get got, to and you get out. to ask questions, you'll get some <laughs> trivia, we'll have fun, we'll drink beer, what's wrong with that? And then the other thing uh, we're going to do is we're going to have a, uh, at the River Outpost, in July, we're having a uh, Christmas in July, sponsored by the Fence Bar, uh, where we are collaborating <laughs> with <laughs> Justin Sturgis, the brewer at River Outpost, Ooh, and we are awesome. making a, well, let me talk, and people will be able to actually hear me. Oh, Justin sorry. Sturgis? Yeah. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to do, we're going to make a, a dad light and a mom light. All right. It's going to be available all July long that you're going to be helping with the brewing process of. 
You're going to be helping with the brewing process. Whoa. You're going to be helping with the brewing process. Can huh? I help? This is a big announcement, dude. Yeah, and then we're going to have DJ Dirty Santa, a.k.a. Pat Fondiller. Uh, <laughs> and we are going to party out at the River Outpost wearing our best elven wear. Can't wait. Um, party. It's Christmas in July. And so far, we're not raising money for anything. So is it business casual? Maybe we will. It's elf casual. Elf casual. <laughs> this is Christmas only. Christmas party. Right. We've got to talk about this. I feel like this is going to be I a forgot. big part of you the are not the neighborhood. burger. You weren't at the Burger Fest. I missed all of this. No. <laughs> Speaking of the Burger Fest, I have to say, we got to thank Tony on New York because she gave us tickets to the Burger Fe uh, Westchester Magazine Beer and Wine thing. Thanks, and Tony. Uh, we were able to go today, and it was amazing. Uh, we had the best time, and we were also going to be featured on her season finale uh, of Tony on New York in our barbecue segment. I love that. And you'll see me uh, uh, sucking down a whole... Uh, a whole You're going to suck the bone tonight, aren't you? It's a big <laughs> bone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, that was the first it, bone I ever sucked, Sharif. All right, it, so Bob. who are we thanking tonight? We're, we have right. to thank Campbell Meats for the beef shank. Thanks, thank three you, Campbell. Thanks for being the, the three continues. The we got to thank... Uh, uh, thank you, way. Green Growler. Thank you, Shauna. Can I thank somebody? Yes, Evan. Of course you can. I gotta thank Jesus. Forward sure. Movement Pilates for making my oh, life better. Reba. Reba. Future Woo! guest. She's Future on the burgers. Guest. Future guest. If you want to know guest. about Pilates, this girl's coming in. Maybe there I'll it is. Maybe I'll come in another time. That's, that's <laughs> what this is what uh, Sleepy Hollow tonight. would call. I'm on burger duty over there. Tonight, yeah. She's <laughs> killing it. Well, my fire's <laughs> killing it. We haven't really started cooking the burgers. All right, all right. Yeah. So, so anyway, we're going to rank our beers tonight <laughs> because we got a lot of people here that need to drink the beers that we've had. That Wait, we ranked the beers at the burger festival. Well, we did that too. That, you gotta we check them. You gotta check. That. Yeah, they don't. But you gotta check on Instagram to see what we the beers we rank. They uh, need to work on their beer festival. Beer festival. I missed it. Instagram. Yeah, this was fantastic. What is that? My Who's absolute that? favorite so far tonight. Awesome. We, so we, we love that. All right. So so look at Instagram. Check out uh, our final uh, podium. Um, the great thing about Fence oh. Bar is it never stops. It just keeps on growing and growing. And everybody par that's part of it just keeps having a good time. So cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yes. Yes. Woo. And howdy, neighbors. Howdy, neighbors. Howdy, neighbors. <laughs> ah. Cheers, neighbor. Gentlemen. <laughs> 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 You're Canada, baby. Don't be a D bag. Do as the Alchemist says, the ultimate juicy IPAs. Well, this isn't the Alchemist, but it was up there this evening. Recycle your can. Ah, oh, I missed.